extreme heat, wildfires, flooding, melting ice, rising seas, devastating storms. In recent years, all of these have been blamed on climate change. But what is climate change? Are humans responsible? And what might the future look like? Here's what the science tells us. Two thousand and nineteen was an extraordinary year of weather records in the UK. The warmest December day on record, the warmest February and winter day on record, and then in July, the UK's hottest day on record. Extreme heat that summer affected many countries throughout Europe. Temperature records were set in France, Germany, Belgium, and the Netherlands. Two years later, June two thousand and twenty-one. Canada's national temperature record was shattered by almost five degrees when 49.6 Celsius was recorded in British Columbia, followed by devastating wildfires. Scientists have said that temperature would have been virtually impossible without the help of climate change. And it's not only heat waves that scientists have recently linked to global warming. Some floods, wildfires, storms, and droughts have also been linked. Our planet is overheating, and it's happening rapidly. Since 1850, global average surface temperature has increased by more than one degree Celsius. The six hottest years on record were the six years up to and including 2020. That is at the time of recording. This has coincided with a dramatic increase in human pollution caused by burning fossil fuels, cutting down forests, and many other activities. Levels of carbon dioxide have been measured at the Mauna Loa Observatory in Hawaii since 1958. The zigzag pattern shows the seasonal cycle. With more vegetation in the northern hemisphere, the planet breathes in more CO2 during the northern hemisphere summer. So there is a dip. Then there is more CO2 exhaled during the northern hemisphere winter. Meanwhile, the steep upward trend is the human contribution. There is now 50% more CO2 in the atmosphere compared to the Industrial Revolution. Other pollutants, such as methane, nitrous oxide, chlorofluorocarbons, have also been increasing. This line shows the temperature of the planet during the past 170 years, if only natural influences had played a role. And this line is a computer simulation when you take into account the human contribution. And the third line shows the actual observed temperature rise over the past 170 years. The science is clear: human pollution is overheating the planet. We don't just have to rely on the temperature record. Throughout the world, oceans have warmed, glaciers have retreated, and snow cover has reduced. There are now more intense rainfall events and more powerful tropical cyclones. And the more we heat up the planet. The worse the impacts become, from extreme weather events to melting ice to sea level rise. But how hot will the planet get? In its 2021 report, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change looked at five scenarios based on varying levels of human pollution in the decades to come. These range from taking immediate action to reduce pollution and achieving net zero by 2050, through to a doubling of current levels of pollution by 2050. Projections show that global warming will continue until at least the mid-21st century under all of these scenarios. But how much warming we see, especially later in the century, depends on our actions in the years to come. In the UK, further warming is also expected. Of course, our weather will remain highly variable. But on average, in a high pollution scenario, winter rainfall is likely to increase by around 10 to 15 percent by 2050. Increasing the risk of flooding, summer rainfall, meanwhile, will decrease at around 15 percent, putting water supplies at greater risk. Warmer, wetter winters, hotter, drier summers. We already have an idea of what this would look like. February 2020 was the wettest on record. In 2019, the UK experienced its highest temperature on record, and 2018 was the UK's hottest summer on record. Now, 30 years ago, a summer like 2018 was very unlikely. It's now much more likely because of climate change, and by 2050, under a high emissions scenario, it's about as likely as not. 
To avoid the most catastrophic impacts of climate change, however, in 2015 the world came together in Paris to agree a commitment to keep global temperature below 2 Celsius above pre-industrial levels and aspire to keep it below 1.5 Celsius. However, there is some hope. If nations around the world come together to take immediate action to tackle pollution, then global warming during this century can be halted and maybe even reversed. If you found this interesting, why not follow the Met Office on social media and subscribe to the Met Office YouTube channels for more weather and climate content.